Hello everyone, I am Brother Ozana David. Thank God for the grace he has given to us to see this beautiful day. In case you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Spirit TV and Iguayopuna. Uh, visit my website, iguayopuna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. I want to really encourage us today, if you look at the world today, the truth has become so bitter. And as I... Look at what Jesus told Peter uh, in John chapter 21. Uh, Jesus asked him, Peter, did you love me more than this? And it's the same question that is coming across our way today. If we actually love the Lord more than the things of this world. Some time ago, uh, 2017, yes, the Lord told me that the best expression of love for him in this generation is speaking the bitter truth and when i really look at the world i discover that the truth is so scarce a lot of people are afraid to speak the truth even sometimes you see some videos on youtube so kind of write-ups that address uh, salient issues in the society the nice minute you see the owners taking them down because they feel people are attacking them they feel uh, they are not safe in their workplaces they feel their family members are against them forgetting what jesus christ said that if we are shame of him in this world if we are shame of him in the presence of our uh, our co-workers our family members he himself will be ashamed of us in the presence of God and his holy angels. Let me tell you something. We have very few days, very few years to spend in this world. Our real time will be spent in a place that is, our afterlife is going to be spent in heaven if we do right. And we're going to spend our time with God forever. If we do wrong and do not uh, stand for God right now, then we deny him and also deny his kingdom. Why deny the Lord that died for us? Jesus Christ shed his blood for us. He was not ashamed to be lifted up in, in, on a cross of, 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 of condemnation. He humbled himself even and, and he was killed. Even the death of a sinner was what he tasted because of us. Why should we be ashamed of him? A lot of us can't talk about Jesus Christ. A lot of us don't want, don't want people to know that we are Christians. A lot of us don't want to show him in our dresses. A lot of us don't want to say anything that will make people to suspect that we are Christians. If Jesus Christ is only in your heart, if you don't show him to the world, if you are afraid of people, if you are afraid of losing your job, you are not doing the right thing. Even a lot of ministers don't want to speak the truth because when they speak the truth, the government is going to go, af go after them, the, the, their, their church members, those who support them with money are going to withdraw. So they are afraid. But I tell you the truth, this is the best time to actually speak the truth. It is the time of scarcity. This truth is scarce. Please stand for Jesus Christ. It is going to get worse. But now that we still have some level of liberty, some level of freedom of expression and religion, of worship, freedom, right to worship, let us stand for God. Even when it gets worse, let us continue to stand. If we can stand now, what about when it gets worse? Is it then that we are going to stand Please, don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ and his gospel. Wherever you are, speak the word. I know a lot of people attack me, even some professed Christians attack me for being too, kind of, I'm too strict, I'm, uh, it's not about holiness, I'm driving away sinners. It's not about that. The gospel shouldn't be adulterated and we should speak the truth at all costs. We know that the truth is scarce. The truth can cost us our life, but... Jesus Christ said that we should be faithful even unto death. Please speak the truth wherever you are. Preach the gospel. Don't hide your Christianity in your heart. Don't hide your righteousness only in your heart. Show Jesus Christ to the world. We have a kingdom and he is going to pay us. If we are not ashamed in this world, if we are not ashamed of him in this world, he will never be ashamed of us. Stand for what is right. Stand for the kingdom of our God. I encourage you to stand even in the face of death. Don't give up and the Lord will never give up on you. Thank you and God bless you. Share this video to someone that is giving up. Bye-bye.